Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Niara Alexis and like the title says today, I'm gonna be sharing with you some pricier hair products that I think are actually worth it. I feel like I always share like pretty drugstore friendly like affordable price products and whenever I share something that's pricier I feel like I always get questions on like do I think it's worth it should you actually spend money on that I want to start with my most used product and products that I feel like people ask me about all the time they have so many questions and that is my flat iron this is the GHD platinum plus flat iron this is my favorite flat iron of all time that I have ever used. I feel like it runs you usually around like $200 or so, which I get is expensive, especially like you can buy flat irons in like CVS for like $30. I got these flat irons in 2020 and it is now 2023. They have never given out on me. Like I've never had an issue with this flat iron before. And I like that the cord, like it swivels all the way around. So I'm never having to like move my hand or anything because of this like cord is in the way, it swivels around. And the neat thing about this flat iron is it heats up to 365 degrees only. So the thing with like GHD, I feel like most of their flat irons automatically heat to that temperature because according to them, that's the optimal temperature for you to be flat ironing your hair but avoid excessive like heat damage on your hair. I always share when I find them on sale because um, I think they're a great investment and if you want a pair of flat irons that are just gonna last you a long time and also just really do the job, I always, 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 always recommend these. These are my go-to flat irons because I know they're always gonna perform and do exactly what I need. Okay, so now that we've done like our appliances or like I guess like hair appliances. Um, let's move into some products. So the first products that I'm gonna be talking about are Way. And what what mom gonna text me? Which one, girl? Are these one? Yes, these the, those is the place I wanted. Anyways, so Way products. Whenever I talk about these products or use them in a tutorial, somebody without fail will always ask me, are they really worth it? And I will say to you 100,000% yes. Like honestly, I feel like they could charge more for these products. And the reason why is because not only do these products do what they say they're gonna do, like this is a thick hair conditioner, this is a leave-in conditioner, they both work great like functionally, like as far as like what the product says it's going to do, they do everything that they say they're gonna do. They have also made these products smell like the most expensive luxe thing you have ever experienced. Like this conditioner, like, <sighs> what does this smell? Because I have smelled all of their perfumes and I don't think any of their perfumes smell exactly like this. I want something that smells just like this conditioner. Also the leave-in conditioner, let me see, does it have the the leave-in conditioner smells a little bit different, but it still smells out of this world amazing. Like these smell so good. And for me, you can get me with a couple of things and these include all of them. Doing what you say you're gonna do, smelling amazing and looking amazing. Aesthetically, these give these are a vibe they look cute you've seen all the people do the little shower catter videos on tiktok and stuff and they put in just all these whey products in there or whatever they they paid a pretty penny i will say that because these products are not super cheap that's what i'll say I, that's why i said i've set my piece on the way next we have this product which i was a little skeptical about this is the aura bay serene scalp oil control treatment mist okay i bought this at the beginning of the summer she is seventy dollars hold on hold on before you click off the video like she didn't lost her damn mind i love this so much for what it does okay so it's an oil control mist do i feel like it really controls the oil but it does something else that i feel like makes up for that so for me i have very dry scalp and a very and my scalp can get very irritated very quickly meaning like if i scrub my scalp too much which i tend to do when i wash my hair because i'm trying to get like any dryness and flakiness off it will become very irritated very tender very quickly i spray a couple pumps of this all around my scalp before i blow dry it doesn't really have a scent to it which i don't mind because for this purpose where like i really just need you to calm my scalp down 
I don't really care if you smell like anything. It just, it's, it makes my scalp serene. Just like I said, serene scalp. It just calms it down. I don't feel like it controls oil that much. You know, I feel like it's meant more for like our other friends, you know? The other great thing about it too is because um, it's because I only use this like when I'm like washing my hair with like protective styles and stuff like when I've taken my braids out. I haven't used that much of this so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have this again next summer. So I spent the $70 like this summer and I'm just gonna hold on to it and I'll have it again ready for me next summer when I'm like taking my styles out and my scalp is angry I'll have it again so it's worth it to me not only because it does something for me but also because I'm not gonna have to buy a bunch of these over and over again my next product is this Paul Mitchell flexible style super clean spray I've shared this with you guys numerous times um, I always use this when I'm wearing my hair out for the fall and winter like my you know big bouncy styles because this is a hairspray that will uh, actually keep your hair in place and hold your style but won't make your hair crunchy now let me tell you how i was introduced to this product y'all in like 2021 yes i think it was 2021 i actually did a photo shoot i was supposed to be on a relaxer box how ironic that was before my channel even went in the direction of talking about relaxers i went and did a photo shoot um i won't say the company because i don't know if it's ever coming out now it was supposed to come out a long time ago i don't know if they just scrapped the project or whatever but i did a photo shoot to be on a relaxer box yes i, I was supposed to be the just for me girl y'all know how hype i was um but it actually never came to fruition or whatever i don't know if they're just holding it for a super long time i don't know maybe one day i'm gonna wake up and i'm gonna be in target i have no idea but this product was using my hair at the photo shoot and i remember thinking like oh my god they're spraying all this hairspray on my hair like my hair is about to break off it's supposed to be so it's about to be so hard it's about to be crunchy like i'm gonna really have to rehab my hair after this my hair was so soft so flexible so bouncy so like still moving i was like let me see what that is let me see what that is that you're using now i was like i need to get me some of this and I use this almost every single time that I do my hair now and I'm styling it, I use this hairspray. I also use it like when I'm wearing my hair like slicked back in a bun or something, which I don't do very often, but it helps get rid of flyaways and stuff like that, but it's not gonna make your hair hard. I have still not used this whole bottle. This is the first bottle that I ever bought when I came back from that photo shoot and I still have quite a bit i would say i probably have like this much more in here i really like color wow and if you guys are familiar with the name it's probably because you have seen these little silver aluminum bottles floating around everywhere you've seen everybody pouring water on their hair going out humidity talking about like my hair is not reverting and it's true so i have two versions of it i have the regular version and then i have the extra strength version i actually did a full review of the extra strength version i will link it down below because this is their newest version they have a regular version they have an extra strength version and then they also have a version that is for curly hair so basically what this product is is an anti-frizz now i will say that i have relaxed hair so when i'm wearing my hair out and i use this like obviously like my hair's reaction to it is going to be a little bit different than someone who has like natural hair or like especially somebody who doesn't have trained hair so all of my like straight naturals out there like i feel like if you've been wearing your hair straight and you're a natural for a while your hair has to some extent become like heat trained what we call it and you know it doesn't revert as quickly or as easily anymore um but i just had to give give that disclaimer like for anybody that was curious they are a little bit more expensive if you're used to like only buying drugstore product but i really 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 like these and i'm gonna keep using them that is it today y'all for expensive hair products and things that i have and that i will continue to buy that i think are 100 percent worth it i hope that was helpful for you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time